Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today's December 18th, 2020. And today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the market's still awaiting the stimulus package as the markets kind of taper off across the board. But first, looking at the economic events of the day, nothing major scheduled for today. But as we look at the markets, we're watching the dollar continue to slide versus the major pairs. And the Nasdaq and the Dow Jones just hovering at their highs, but not breaking out higher. Gold really retracing, but nothing significant. Okay, looking at the stocks, they're pretty much tapering off with lower volume and a little bit of a retracement. And lastly, looking at Bitcoin, it retraced, but still very strong. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're going to start here with the EURUSD. And we haven't really followed the EURUSD this week because it's really been kind of out of all the pairs, the least strongest versus the dollar, okay? Which I mean, it should have really been at this 2458-ish level compared to where the other majors were versus the dollar. Now, we did have a supportish level back in 2018 at this 124-ish level, and we're just about to hit that. 122.78 is your resistance-ish level, and we are retracing at these areas, so just be aware of that. Now, looking at a four-hour chart, you can see we're tapering off at that 122.70-ish level. We're just about 14 to 15 pips below it, okay, which may, may mean if we do break this eight-day moving average that we will retrace further. Now, looking at the GBP USD a little bit stronger as it did retrace to support but did not break it yet. 136.41 was your high. So that was a decent rally there for the GBP versus the USD. Now, looking at the Aussie dollar as well, had gotten stronger to 76.33. This is really momentous because it would, to look at a weekly chart, you could see that the next real resistance ish level is 76.97. Now, looking at the RAND, look at it continue to strengthen versus the dollar. 14.69 right now. It was trading at 14.66 earlier this morning, just a few pips higher. However, it is breaking down. And just to give us a perspective of it, look at that weekly chart. And, and this is really beautiful because we've been watching it and watching it and watching watching it and then boom it goes okay now we are hitting a supportish level at this 1456 ish level so just be aware of it that it may bounce off of this level right here okay 1451 ish level around this area okay so something to consider going into today's trading now jumping into gold we were traced back from 1891 down to 1880. 1875 is your support level. That was your previous resistance. So that's what I'd be looking for to bounce off of. Now, jumping into the indices, the NASDAQ still very strong on its dead highs, 12, 7, and 31. If we look at a uh, four hour chart, you could see a little bit clearer, really just a few points off of its all time highs. Now, the markets are really anticipating the stimulus package there is a deadline for this weekend so we're hoping well that'll come through if that comes through we should expect the market to continue rallying into the weekend i'm looking at the dow jones also at 236 but not breaking out higher okay it's getting a little bit choppier for the dow jones than it is for the dollar now looking at the other stocks okay now we're tapering off here okay looking at apple probably the strongest 126.66 but just tapering off there Facebook also tapering off below its 273-ish level, and Microsoft had that perk earlier this week above that 215, did retrace a little bit from 220 down to 218, but nothing to really write home about, okay? There's nothing that's out of the norm here, okay? But we are, for all intents and purposes, still in a range, okay? We're not breaking out higher with the stocks vis-a-vis -vis what the indices are doing. So this may actually play catch up at a certain point where the indices sell off to catch up with the individual stocks. Now jumping into Bitcoin, we did a Facebook Live yesterday covering Bitcoin yesterday. It did rally to 23,690. Let's just give us a weekly perspective here. Okay, now this was your breakout. Okay, 1890 was the high. Okay, let's call it 19,000 was your all-time highs. We broke above it by 23,000. That's 4,000 points within a two-day period. That's unbelievable. Okay, a really beautiful breakout. Now, that is exactly what I would have expected it because that's 50% approximately of our rally here. Okay, 
it's about 50%, and that's exactly what I would have expected. And now I do expect it to retrace. Now I would look at 20,000 as a possible retracement level for it. Okay, it may just hover above here, it may really recoil here. Okay, but you got to wait for it to actually show you what it's going to be doing. Okay, now looking at you know a shorter term time frame let's just look at it just give us a perspective four hours it's hovering around this area not breaking out higher not breaking out lower at some point it's either going to book its profit or it's going to continue going out higher okay because it does look like it's having this wedge formation continue so something to consider going into today question is, is how much is it going to retrace okay how much is it going to sell off the key number here is 50 percent okay generally when you have a breakout like this and it's topped out it retraces about 50% and that puts us somewhere between the 8 day and the 30 day moving average which gives us about 21 22,000 ish area okay somewhere around this area is where I expect it to retrace to so keep this in mind today as the markets go into next week next week obviously towards the end of the week is a holiday uh, Christmas vacation on Friday next week so the markets will be closed and that's going to lead us into the following week which is the holiday between Christmas and New Year's where generally the markets are kind of low kind of you know on lower pace okay so that may be something to consider as we go into the end of the year maybe that certain People will be taking money off the table towards the end of the year, booking their profits uh, going into 2021. So something to consider as well. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day and a beautiful weekend. God bless.